So I wanted to upgrade my TrueNAS server from scale or from core to scale. So I was doing a lot of research, watching some YouTube videos, spent a lot of time, anxiety over converting over to scale because there's some features of scale that you'll get that you don't have with core. And the main reason is it runs under Linux instead of, uh, what is it, DB? Um, anyway, it runs under Linux, scale does. So your options are a little greater. And had I known that before I loaded this, I probably would have just went to scale in the first place. So that's my own personal opinion. Anyway, so to cut to the chase, short video. After all the anxiety, waiting to download the ISO, for some reason it took forever, I upgraded from core to scale in 10 minutes. I had a one gigabyte up, one gigabyte down internet connection. I hit, basically I backed up everything beforehand. All the files are backed up, backed up the setup and everything. Here you're seeing it running right now in scale. And I simply went to system, which was in the core system was right on this, um, right on the menu on the left. And I did an update and I updated as it said, I went to, to literally went to the true NAS website and how they're like installing virtual machine and all these different uh, ways to upgrade. And let me find the window for you. I simply went to, oh, I can't remember where it was now. Anyway, it showed you the upgrade paths. So what I did is in core, I updated core to the latest version. That's what they told you to do. And so you had to have it in the latest version, which was 13.0 U 6.2, something like that. And this is September 8th, 2024. So it's good as of today. So anyway, made sure that the core install was updated to that. And then I did update again. because so I was reading in the TrueNAS website or IXI, whatever it's called. I usually like to be very specific, but TrueNAS.com in there. In their write up about upgrading, um, in their in upgrading, it gave you a uh, path to upgrade. So, in the update settings, right here, this is similar, but in your update settings, you can you can pick which version you wanted. Well, believe it or not, TrueNAS Scale Dragonfish was in there. And TrueNAS Scale Dragonfish is an upgrade from Core. And it was in there. It was available. So I hit that. Changed it to Dragonfish. Hit the update button. Copied the keys over. Everything it needed. I accepted it. I backed it up, but I accepted everything. Uh, hit the go. It rebooted, logged in with my credentials, and it's up and running. Like nothing even changed. Now, I'm not using a ton of my storage in here, as you can clearly see. I have 31 gig available. I'm only using about 1.2. Well, wait. Yeah, no, that's memory. Sorry. Our CPU network storage, my pool. The pool's there. Now, I don't know why it's not showing the pool, but this is my top low topology. Well, maybe I could be wrong, but I just verified. Usable space 10.44. Use 163 gig. 
but I did go to my network setting. TrueNAS and my data right here. This is a uh, link drive. Um, Object name, see it's shown true NAS. The path is right. So let's just do it, try it. See, it's there. So I guess what I'm telling you is back everything up. Don't start without backing stuff up. And it's just crazy if you don't. Honestly, I didn't need to. I couldn't believe that it transferred that easy. Um, from what I, it's up and running, this is my, uh, this, this is a, the running machines running right now and I upgraded and the only reason it's uptime 18 minutes this is when I'm making this video I thought I'm making a video because anybody gets use out of it now take what I do as a grain of salt yes I use computer for a number of years I'm not clearly there are people that are smarter at computers than I am however I don't I don't know for some odd reason I don't have a problem taking chances because there's always recovery if you back your data up you can get your your data back um, in the setup it shows you about saving your keys and things like that I'm not a true NAS guru but I do know that I, you'll just if worst case you'll have to do from scratch possibly and do a rebuild your pools and all that go through all that shenanigans which that's all documented on YouTube and I'm not going to go into that so I think one thing I wanted to do is virtualization, and you couldn't do that with the core product. So, anyway, we're eight minutes in. I'm going to close this out, and thank you for watching.